Hey guys, it's Tom C from Sons of Video. Uh, I wanted to do, do a little review of War Thunder. It's a game I've been really playing a lot of lately. It's a World War II dogfighting game. And it's free to play on Steam. And I think a lot of people should try it because it's actually super duper fun. And I'm going to explain why. It's got basically every plane you can imagine from World War II, from every nation that really was involved in it. D nobody, nobody write me on that. All the big ones, all the big deals. Um, but every plane you could imagine, and it is free to play, but this free to play aspect doesn't get in your way as much as it does in other games. Um, there, there are two types of currency, both of which can be unlocked via normal play, but the gold uh, eagles are a lot harder to get. Um, regardless, the thing is that the game is just plain fun to play. Uh, I'm sure they made it very meticulously to be addictive uh, to try and get you to buy stuff, which it sort of shows through, but the the, the dogfighting is so much fun, and blowing up targets is incredibly satisfying, and a lot of people would probably complain this game's a little bit tedious, because basically all your missions are the same. You're always going to be dogfighting and destroying ground targets. Like, there's some missions where you have to capture bases, but that really just devolves into bombing it, or uh, just blowing up everyone else around it. And so you're always going to get that. I feel like they're going to eventually expand upon that. They have ideas that aren't fully implemented yet, because the game just came out I think it's August 23rd, something like that. Anyone who wants to just start playing this game is going to have a really easy time picking it up and playing it. The controls are, are, are simple. It may be too simple for some people. Uh, basically how it works is you just point the, you t point the mouse where you want to go, and the game basically uh, just automatically has your throttle going at 100%. You can adjust that and everything. And the game has different levels of control, so you can turn on and off what you want to make it easier or harder for yourself. Uh, so it, it is a, a very modular experience like that, which I appreciate. But sometimes the controls do lead to some errors. And uh, that's just how it is, though, I guess. And it's going to sound a little weird, but it's, it's, the, it's the small things about this game that I like so much. Because the stuff like your pilot is affected by G-force if you take too sharp of a turn. Or like your fuel, uh, fuel tank can be shot out and you'll run out of fuel and eventually have to crash land. It's weird, but the times when I'm in the process of crashing and just fighting for my life and trying to land softly it are some of the most enjoyable and uh, exciting parts of this game for me. Even though I'm losing, I still feel like I'm uh, trying to live and survive this moment. But it's because the game is so immersive and so hectic that it puts you in that pilot seat. You really feel like you're crashing and you don't want to die. You want to live, but you can't always be so lucky. And uh, you will die, and uh, you can't always get that soft... Soft landing? Really? That one? Airstrip? Really? Guys, does this look like an airstrip to you? I guess mountains are God's airstrip in a, in a way. Well, anyway, the, the real verdict is that it's a free-to-play game. Uh, I think it's worth the money, which is nothing, because you there's plenty of content to unlock and to have fun with before you get anywhere near considering paying for anything. Uh, I, if, it, if it was a pay-to-play game or it was a game I had to buy for $60, I would have considered it because I really do, I really do enjoy it, and it really is a, a well-made, uh, well-optimized game with not a lot of bugs or anything like that. The community is even really good. I don't, I don't know if there's not like a lot of kids or something like that, but it plays well. It's fun to pull. It's just fun, man. <laughs> uh, I've been really enjoying it. I'm gonna probably play right after this video. Um, give it a shot, guys. I think a lot of I think a lot of you might like it. I've only played for about five or seven hours so far, but I'm really enjoying it, uh, and I think you guys should try it out. Thank you for watching this review. Um, hopefully, we can get some more reviews done in the near future. But uh, try it out if you want a numerical number for how much I enjoy this game. I give it a 700 out of 70. Does that help anybody? Does that make you feel good? All right, guys. We'll see you next time.